All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Crusader Kings 2 series, where today we are, of course, still playing as the Prince of Palati of Amalfi, with our now 58-year-old Grand Prince Liam the Terrible, and today, my friends, we are in, oh boy, multiple wars. We, of course, do have this whole jihad we are defending against with the Gifted, which is not going quite as well as I planned, but we are still winning. So that's a good thing. And besides our forces here, we do have England and the Knights Hospitaller coming in to assist as well. Which they're sending over a fair few thousand, though I'm still curious why this guy is just standing there. Hmm. Now we also do have two unfortunate revolts down here in Lyonnaise territory. Thankfully... Both of the revolts are down here. So what I already did off camera is I raised the Leon levies over here. And that gave me 8,532 soldiers. That should be more than enough to squish these two rebellions. So hopefully that actually goes quite nicely for us. Well, the rebellions are quite small. They only have, uh, you know, a combined power of the two of them there of less than 5,000. So I'm thinking this stack should do well and then I'll just immediately get rid of it. Cause I mean, uh, come on, Leon, why aren't you taking care of your territory down here? Why am I responsible for saving your butt? I don't know, but oh well. Now I'm thinking of also raising some levies from over in this part of the world. Um, I would like to try and avoid that for now, honestly, because, well, you know, it's, uh, I like fighting with my own people, my own mercenaries, my own levies, and my own personal guard. But still, we may, I think Ultra Jordan can uh, muster up around 3,000, and uh, this Duke here, Duke of Ancona, can raise a couple thousand, I think like four more thousand. So we may raise those two over here for a little bit more assistance. But for the time being, I'm gonna hold off, because we did have a major couple of victories last episode that sent the main enemy force running away, and I'm just worried that maybe they have more coming like this guy here. That is, yeah, unfortunate. Oh god, in fact, I may also raise the Portuguese forces here, which... <laughs> Still amuses me that this is Portugal. But, I mean, eh, what are you going to do? Which, actually, what all does Portugal have at this point? Oh, they've actually taken a few more chunks from Lyon. Huh. Interesting. And, Lyon, how are you doing? Oh, my. You actually have lost a lot over here. Wait, did I actually raise your troops? No, I raised someone else's troops. Whose troop? Oh, I did raise Portuguese troops. Oh. When did this happen? When did Portugal all of a sudden gain all of this? What the? <laughs> all of this up here used to be Leo. Oh my god, who's who controls this now? Kingdom of Mali? How the... what? Oh, that would explain one thing and why I had an extra vassal at some point. Oh, wait, no, you're King of Mali and King of Lyon. Wait, why, what? Why is your territory split between the two then? I don't... I don't know. Yeah, he has two separate kingdoms. Don't they normally just combine all the holdings into whatever's the major title? I don't know. Okay, so he has put a lot of stuff into his Mali title. That is... Interesting, but yeah, uh, Leon definitely had more territory over here. Portugal seems to have really been gaining a lot of steam. A lot more steam than I expected. Oh god, and plus they have all this crap over here. I think they... Well, no, France is still my largest and most powerful vassal, but they may very well be number two now. It was Leon. But, wow. I mean, I gave Portugal this because when I did all they had were these four counties right here and apparently by giving them Syria they have used that to take a whole lot more oh my god <laughs> I am genuinely shocked by that I hadn't paid much attention to who held this territory in a long time because I just always figured eh, Leon's got it 
So in that case, I should actually be mad at Portugal for not defending their territory. You, go kill. Go take care of them. And while that's happening, I keep popping over here to view things and, oh boy. Oh, got caught by a tiny little army. Oh, that was unfortunate. Oh well, we're sieging now. Which is always good. Oh, the big army's come back again. Hi, okay, I'm gonna raise you. Boom. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, we'll bring him in, and then we'll bring him in. So that's their large army now. It's only 23,000. Hmm. Do I raise him as well? Yes, yeah, screw it. <laughs> you, over here too! And let's wait until they're engaged in combat, and then I pop in this guy. So I don't want him to be able to run! Oh, he's got some more reinforcements coming in, but so do I! So do I, you fool! You foolish fool. Oh, and England's coming, and so are the Knights Hospitaller! Oh, and someone died. Oh, no, the Duke of Ancona has perished. He died in battle. He will be remembered greatly. Killed by... Izadim? Hmm. Interesting one. Oh no! Oh, he was a commander too. Oh, I need to fill his position. That's unfortunate. Alright, everyone's joining in to the fight. Look at this. The Battle of Ismaila. We have won. And I have taken... Who are you? Are you of any importance? No, not really. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> oh no, I slipped. Who are you? Claims? Uh, oh no, I slipped. <laughs> I am the terrible people. This is perfectly within my character's, well, you know, character. <laughs> okay, so let's see. We've got three armies here now. You go back over here. Then you, small army, go here. You go with him. Yes, yes, we'll continue to take these. We will siege and raiders are doing a thing. Oh, go take care of your own problems. Um, oh god, I forgot what this part of my country is called. Sind? <laughs> uh, do I raise his soldiers? He only has 1,852. <sighs> Damn it, Sind. Damn it, how do you... <sighs> Build up your cities! I mean, actually, you've done a pretty good job at upgrading them, but still, what the hell? <laughs> okay, all right, well, back over here. Oh, God, also, we have the things going on over here. You! You're on the march. I have too many fronts in this war! Okay, we have actually... Oh, God, oh, we have another large battle here going here. Hi, 22,000 stack versus my 2,000 stack. Oh, God, everyone in. Well, England's coming to help at least. That's good. Oh, Jesus. They got a lot of... They have a lot more soldiers than I anticipated with this. Come on, everyone. Join in. Oh, God. They have another 12,000 stack coming. Oh, boy. I need more soldiers. You. You got... A thousand? I don't do. Go this way. I mean, you're gonna... No, don't go through... Don't go... Uh, you know, yeah, go through that one. Alright, even with our 12,000, I think we have this one. Oh, God, no, hold on. D we lost the siege? Oh, yeah, you. Well, they're all about to die. Okay, and you... No, don't go through that rebel army now. Go that way. There we go. God, I'm worried about this 12,000 stack coming. <laughs> that, that, um, that could tip the scale either way in this war here, right? Or this one battle, at least. Oh, boy. Yep. Well, we may. No, we still got it. We still got it. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to have lost a lot of soldiers, though. We have another victory. The Battle of Tafik. Okay. Who's this? You have no claims, I don't care. If you had claims, I would actually, you know, ransom you, but I'd only get like 10 gold for you, so meh. Who are you? You only have a claim, no actual land. 
Goodbye. <laughs> oh god, I got another. I keep catching people. Wow, my um. Uh... Oh my god, they just keep coming. Well, executed, imprisoned. There we go. Do we? How do we? Oh, it ended. Wait, what? Oh, the peasant revolt for uh, the peasant revolts are gone. Oh, we won that battle. Oh, that must be this. Yes, yes, the battle for Ijil. Good. Uh. Oh, twenty piety. Go take the vows. <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, who are you? The other revolt, the peasant revolt. Um, banish. I don't care for him. Go to. I should actually probably go here. <laughs> I'm gonna raise boats and get them over there. We need all the soldiers we can get now. Oh uh, boy, yeah, we won this battle, but my God, are we? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Low, low on many, many. Oh my God, that army is down, down to 719. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Well, let's just combine them all now. Here we go, back up to this place. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, who else can I raise that's near here? You, you're Aragon. How many we got from you? 1600. I'll take it. Oh, you got 2,500 over here who are going to be in your way, though. My god, they are really raising a lot more troops than I anticipated that they would in this. There's even more coming from here. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, dear crap. <laughs> I mean, I knew, know most of them are from within his empire, but... Actually, I think all of them are, barring maybe one or two. But what the hell? He definitely has more than I anticipated. You're a Portugal. You're a Portugal. Uh, Sardinia. Yeah, Sardinia. 1400. What the? What? Pope, what the hell are you doing? 17. Ah, what the hell? <laughs> Pope, what the heck, man? Come on. Can I do something to you? I don't know. Can I ask for money? Do you have cash? No, you don't, do you? He never has cash when I want him to. Never. You suck. <laughs> okay. Uh, France. I actually think we're going to call up your people. Uh, this is Aquitaine. How many soldiers could I get from you? 6,500. We're going to need them. Yep, we're going to need them. Uh, France. Where is your nearest water tile that I could get to boats easily? Down here. Perfect. I'm going to raise all your troops. Are you in anything else at the moment? Oh, you're attacking the Holy Roman Empire. Why? 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 You're also... Uh, I'm taking your soldiers. Ooh, you got a lot of soldiers. Yep, mine now. <laughs> okay, let's uh, get them up. 180 boats. That will need a few more. Uh, never mind, I only need those. Mm, boop. Yes, go away. Okay, you guys. In the boats. Over here. Pick up them. You, I need your boats. No, no, I'm hitting the soldier. Wrong thing. 255 ships. That's actually way too many ships, but oh well, we'll deal with it. I need you to get there first. I'll wait for you to get there. Oh boy. Alright. Oh god. Yeah, I, I popped you. Hold on. You? You have boats? 36? Perfect. We'll take the boats rather than going by land. It'll work. Who else do we have in here? <laughs> okay, and let's split up this army into two here. Just to make sure that we don't get attrition issues. Oh, perfect. They're all there. Combine! And on the boats. We need you over here. Come on. Come to the Nile Delta. Enjoy, enjoy our lovely waters. Well, not ours. They will be one day, though. 
Okay, down here. Yep. Oh, yeah, they have a lot more soldiers than I anticipated. Nah, we won a little battle. Good, good, good. Tiny, tiny little battle. Oh, I'm pausing a lot because I'm paranoid now. The enemy has actually done much more damage than I anticipated. Closing all of the things. There we go. You yep, there. And we'll send the boats off. Now their 11,000 stack came back. You go park yourself and then delete yourself. You over here? Nope, you're not there yet. Still got a little bit. I have paused a lot. Aha! The other boats are coming now. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, you all down there. Actually here. No. Oh, God. Um, I don't want you coming straight off the boat into a battle. That will actually be worse for us than anything. You guys, I'll jump in. That should be more than enough. Let's handle this. And he stopped. He stopped. <laughs> you know what? You move here. Yep, take that. Whatever little battle this is going to be. I'm guessing him. Okay. And he turned away. Oh, good God, we got a lot of people here now. Which is the big stack. You, over here. Good. Good. We may have to split you up a little bit more. Ah, yes, you, boats, go over here. Dock. You are docked. Go away. Over here. Aha! Way too many boats. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is there someone we can pick up along the way, maybe? Did I already grab your soldiers? <sighs> I haven't. No, I will. Okay. Okay. Oh, God, they're reorganizing. Another seventh... Oh, my God. How do they have so many people? I have fought them in the past before. We have we fought our own holy war to take this from them. And this. How do they have so many more people now than they did then? <laughs> oh, someone just died, but I, I clicked it off too quickly and I don't know who it was. Oh boy. Alright. Well, we've got we've got good good armies here. Hey! Errant subject converted. Good. I have forty three percent on this war. Jeez. This one's... Hey, this one's going to take us a bit. Ah, uh, fabricating claims. Do I have any... Oh, God, I do have commander titles. I need commanders! Two commanders! Oh, no. You know what? Let's actually go with good commanders rather than giving a people, you know, five extra points of liking me. <laughs> All right. Uh, you, you're only 2,000. Go kill him. It will make me happy. Aha! You guys are all there. Good, 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 good. Combine. Boats. <sighs> I really hate bringing all my other vassals into this, but meh. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. Bring them to the Nile Delta, too. Oh! Oh, God. My, my lover slash wife of my brother. Yep. Apparently, she's suffering from her bad marriage with my brother. Uh, perhaps I should suggest a romantic retreat to the countryside. Just the two of us and our most trusted retainers. I mean, I am the terrible, but I kind of, I kind of feel bad. It's my brother, man. It's my brother. <laughs> it's just, uh, I have a, I have a weak claim on the barony of Sveg. What the hell? Huh. You know what? I'm gonna no, no. Let's not do that. I feel I feel bad about that. I mean, executing multiple prisoners, <laughs> fine. Oh, uh, but that that is a bridge too far, sir. A bridge too far. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll take Sveg one day though. That could be fun. Freaking! Finally, you bring that army over here. God, been waiting for that thing for ages. Oh, great! And here comes my other boats. Nice. Uh, my steward comes to see me. He explains that he has devised a plan to bring exotic goods. Let us organize the expedition. I always love these. Ah, uh, time has come to outfit a ship for our trading expedition. 
The harbor master shows you a large ship with a sizable cargo hold that would be perfect for the job, but does it come at quite a hefty price? Yeah. Yeah, no. Always, always go for the most expensive ones. You get the best prize at the end. Victory! Oh, God. Oh, this is always the part I hate about it, though. Bringing the religious officials. Ah. Uh, uh, they always end up causing problems. Fine. We gain gold back for it. I really don't need the Pope hating me right now. Uh, actually, you... Drop off more people here. In Alexandria, we'll bring them up over here to this place. Alright. Oop. It is time to set out on the trading expedition. Hopefully it will yield a good profit to foreign lands. What lands? I don't know. Hopefully good ones. Freaking finally! Took you long enough. Oh god, they're amassing soldiers. Okay, you, large army, you go here. And actually, you go here, because they're going to attack, and we're going to need everyone up here. Ooh, you, though, you. <laughs> Doc. <laughs> uh... Oh, why are you fighting revolts? They're helping us. They are... not oh, you're an idiot. Damn you, Knights Hospitaller. Oh, hey, tech from Constantinople. Good, good, good. Also, pause. We have a child without a focus. And, oh, damn it, Knights Hospitaller. Really? Why? Why are you attacking the revolt that is technically helping us? Because they're also fighting the Kifted. Ugh. You need thrift, sir. Stupid allies. Uh, our expedition has led us to... Veliki Ustug. Russia. <laughs> uh, we have finally reached there. The realm of Chief Zbeg. Your steward asks you what gift we shall bring forth as a token of our friendship. Well, a dozen strong horses. That seems to be the most expensive option. And again, always go with the most expensive option. You get the best reward. Damn it. You down here. Hey, to the rear and subject converted. Good. At dinner, you notice Chief Zbeg of Vilkiustag, face growing red with annoyance as he glares at your steward shoveling food in with his bare hands. Uh, he is only acting according to his religion, thanks to my learning skill. And there we go. That'll appease him. You! I no longer need you. Go away. Oh, God, yeah, they're amassing a lot of troops, but so am I. So am I. What all we got here? Okay, so we got 10,000 with those two, 10,000 there, 11,000, 18,000. Yeah, yeah, we've got, a, we've got a good number of people here. We've got a good number of people. I think we're going to be good. It would be better if the freaking Night Hospitaller didn't... Screw up over there. I was leaving them alone. I didn't care about them. <laughs> oh, God. You are walking idly around the court when you suddenly hear a discussion increasing in intensity around the corner. Turning the corner, you're surprised to see one of the priests from the expedition engaged in a wild theological debate with a local noble. This could endanger the whole adventure. Or whole venture, rather. And well, they are pagan. Um... Uh, uh, I always hate this part because I, I, I want to stop it, but damn, look at all those negatives. Uh, also, holy crap, I just saw that. Damn it, what? Oh, also, I still have boats left out here. <laughs> huh. Uh, oh, oh god, hold on. 27,000? Well, I do beat him in that, but I don't know if he has another army down here somewhere hiding. Stop getting more troops! God, I may need to go buy- I may need to go find more. I need to scour my empire for more people. 
Uh, wh back to this. What am I doing? What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna go with this one. What the hell? It's not great. Uh, I've gained the zealous trait, apparently. Oh, great. My son, Dan, has requested to join the Knight's Hospitaller. No. No. As you spend more time talking to the Chief, uh, you realize that you have a lot more in common than mere business interests. Ah, uh, we are both friends now. Wonderful. Always good to have a pagan friend or two. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, hold on. Before we... Uh, yay, victory. Wonderful. With the new trade route set up, you return with the first batch of goods to sell them after an... Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. To sell them off for a nice profit. Gain 500 gold. We only spent, what, 300 or something like that? Somewhere around there? So, yeah, profit. And... Look at those bonuses. Prestige, some more city, castle, and tribal tax, city vassal opinion. Good times. I love those expeditions. All right, got another siege to the Siege of Rosetta. Uh, our steward has brought in riches to the realm through his competent handling of the trading expedition. Hmm. You really like me, huh? I'll reward him appropriately. Damn, I'm giving him a lot of the profit. Oh well, I'm. I mean, I'm. St I'm making money right now. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm. I'm not hurting. I'm not hurting. Okay, yeah. I'll keep him. Keep him liking me, Kumania. That's always good, since he's one of my more powerful vassals. Another victorious siege. You stop fighting and come over this way. Oh God, they're all linking up. They are all linking up. They're coming to attack. Yes. Yes. Do it, you fool. <laughs> And there's a group of carpenters in Fogia that are working together more and more, as well as taking on apprentices. Apprentices. <laughs> this is a situation that cannot be ignored, and so you need to either approve of this carpenter's guild to ensure you have a good reputation amongst the skilled workers, or you could outlaw them and make sure that they're not an impediment to the local market structure. I will support the guild. I mean, it brings down the city tax a little bit, but... I I like that build modifier and build cost modifier. Let's do it. Also, let's go back to Foja real quick and see if maybe there's something fun I can build. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, well, yeah. Ooh, court. Oh, there we go. Boom. I mean, while I'm in the area. Mine is... Well, look at around at other things. Actually, no. What am I doing? What am I doing? I want to play. I will do that later. I have a giant battle that we're about to fight. We are fighting. We are fighting. Everyone in. <laughs> this should kill them quite handedly. Ah, and finally, you're coming to do something useful, you knight's hospitaler. Oh, yeah. We got this in the bag. <laughs> Okay, I'm in a wonderful mood now. Oh, we're gonna beat it before he even gets there. Oh, no, he made it! He made it in the victory of the Battle of Sile. Good. Who did we take? Don't care. <laughs> and pause. Oh, God, now I've gotta move everyone around again. Uh, you, 8619, go over here. Uh, you down here. Yes, you over here. You here. Good, good. And actually, this is a great place to end. We are at the 29 minute mark, so I mean, can't really do much more in a minute. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we've got this war in the back now. Only 81% left. I am, uh, in a good mood. Things are going nicely. Off camera, I'm going to take a look at uh, my buildings and stuff, because I actually haven't looked at that in a while. France, you are still, wow, fielding an impressively sized army, considering I took a lot of your soldiers. Huh, I really should worry about you. But yes, that's going to be it for today. I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.